Hey, what's up YouTube? Uh, back at again with another review. Today I will be reviewing all of my Ghostbusters Kenner uh, toy figure series. Um, uh, I figured since I have so little of them, I might as well do a whole complete uh, video. Now obviously some of these do have their own video, like Mr. Stay Puff, the Ecto-1, and the um, Kenner Ghost Trap is a part of uh, the uh, Proton Pack review. <clears throat> so, uh, they came out with the toys based off of the cartoon series. Um, a lot of these also derived from different series, like these ones were like their uh, space or, yeah, I think they were like space ones. And then these ones changed color when, uh, like they would look like they got slimed when you got them in water. And then these ones all had like a, a scare feature. Like if you raise Janine's arms up, her hair comes up and her mouth opens. Or if you squeeze uh, Peter's arm, his eyes pop out. Well, not anymore, but his head, his hair comes up. Then you have the normal ones back here, which didn't really do anything. Uh, but something that I always thought was creepy as a kid is that look at Peter's eyes. They're green. I mean, that <laughs> that's kind of scary. <laughs> and even in this one, they're green too. But, yeah, they, uh, I don't remember his eyes being green in the cartoon series. But apparently they thought he looked better with green eyes. It's funny because all the other ones appear to have normal colored eyes. And I'll do the, the scare feature for these ones so you can see what they did. Now, back when I was a kid, this amazed me so much. I was trying to figure out how they got his head to flatten out like that. Um, <laughs> it really made me think until, you know, I realized, well, there's his head down there. And there's just, you know, <laughs> I don't know, just the, I don't know, the things that you wonder as a kid. <laughs> and then there's this one, which was really detailed. Two-Face. <laughs> I don't know, I always thought that this one was funny. And then uh, these ghost traps, which... Back in the early 2000s, when I'd search eBay for ghost traps, looking for that ghost trap, I would always get ones of these. But eventually, well, I got most of this stuff in a huge lot. Um, and I also have the orange one, but I don't know where he is. But this, but it didn't work. Uh, this one still does, though. You know, just spring-loaded, that's all. So, you know, you got your, your Ghostbuster walking by. And somehow forgets to look down and see a huge ghost <laughs> and gets trapped. And then this one, I don't even know what this thing is. It looks like a mallard with its big beak or something. I don't know. Uh, I think it came with the Ecto-1? No. Uh, I think it came with Peter from the original series. And then there's this one, which was printed a big piece of vinyl. And it took me so long to realize he just didn't have one eye, he had three. So you hear two normal ones and then the huge one. But I always really liked this one, you know. I don't know. And let's see if he'll, his eyes will pop out. It, it's kind of hard to do with one hand, but you can try to make it happen here. No, it's, I don't know. Yeah, it's not working. <laughs> Sorry. And then, um, obviously in the back, just to do a little comparison. Here, Here's the only one that have like, the original four. I used to have, um, Egon, but it's like someone took a file to his leg. And it was like that when I bought it in the lot, too. Um, so one of his legs is pretty much gone. And then, back in, I think, the summer of 2010 or 2011 one of those two went back down to Georgia uh, 
because we were cleaning out my great grandmother's house, who she had passed away, and uh, I managed to find this, the Ghostbusters containment chamber, which, from what I understand, correct me if I'm wrong, but this came from a Ghostbusters uh, bath set, which I think had like a, a soap holder, which was the Ecto one, like a toothbrush holder, and something like that. Uh, but just let me know. Um, but, uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Stay tuned for more Ghostbusters reviews coming up soon.